Being based in Bangalore, I tried a lot of amazing South Indian food before. However, when it comes down to the home state Karnataka, I never even knew the traditional food could be so good and diverse. It was time to change that. Luckily, my food guru Sheikhzilla introduced me to this amazing South Indian restaurant Karnatik, where they serve delicious original Karnataka food. We went for an amazing Karnataka Thali, including two starters, an incredible range of main course dishes, and some really yummy desserts. I never knew Karnataka food was this. Good. Good. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this introduction to Karnataka food as much as we did. To see more of my videos in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. You can also find more of my videos on Foreigner Travel in India, link below. Guys, today I'm back with Shakesilla, <laughs> my food brother, and we are going to eat some super traditional Karnataka food. I'm very excited for this. Me too. Yeah, let's do this. You're gonna eat. <laughs> First, we're going to start out with welcome drinks. Yes. So talk to me. What is this? They've given us two welcome drinks. Uh, what you have here is uh, majike, which is buttermilk, and panka, which is cantaloupe juice, which is kind of mixed with some jaggery. Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Called oh. majike. Kanadaka, Kanada word for buttermilk, and panka for cantaloupe juice. Which one should we start out with? Is there like an order? Not necessarily. Okay. So. Uh, Suggest you go for the panka first. Okay, they let's like do it. Flavors, so yeah, cheers. cheers. And they give it in like these cute small cups. Mmm, -hmm. this is so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was never a huge fan of cantaloupe, but this works for me. Mm -hmm. There are these like chunks of cantaloupe in there, which make it so fresh. fresh it's amazing. Going in for the buttermilk? Yes. Yeah, Cheers. You can just drink it out. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't count on yeah. that with buttermilk. Masala. Uh, yeah. Buttermilk, yeah. Mm. But it's not like too much masala. Yeah. It's like usually you get a lot so more masala in the, yeah. in the chas. But the chili gets too. Yeah, the chili, like you can feel it burning in the back yeah. of your throat. <laughs> What are we going to start out with? So we're going to start off with the bonda soup. Okay. And I love bonda. Yeah. I've never had bonda soup though. Nor have I. It's my first oh, time as well. Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Everything in the stali is veg, so that's yes. good. Yes. Let's dig in. I'm right. super, super Let's hungry. Go. Oh. So I'm seeing we'll start off with the soup and then like... Uh, mm -hmm. Then taste the soup and then we'll yeah. mix it with the bonda. Okay. Mmm, mm. it's very mild. Mild, yeah. Wow, honestly, this is kind of like the vegetarian version of chicken soup. Mm -hmm. It's super, super light. Yeah. Mmm. What is bonda made of? Bonda is the same thing as it's used for your um, butter. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. I the flavor, you've got a very similar taste. Mm. Also. Oh my god, I want to have this every day. Mm -hmm. This is so soothing. Mm -hmm. This is literally like vegetarian chicken soup. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's like a shawba. This is amazing. Mm. So it reminds me of the Serbian soup with uh, knedle. Like so, normally in chicken soup, you would have like bites of chicken, right? Mm -hmm. Now you have like the bunda. Bunda, yeah. Or in the Serbian soup, you have knedle. Mm -hmm. 
I never knew this combination would work actually. Hmm? I never knew this combination would work. I love this so much. This is so tasty. I suggest you keep your water or tissues near because this is gonna burn a little. Oh, I only, <laughs> <laughs> I only had a chili, uh, what is it called? Chili bhaji. Chili bhaji, yeah. In uh, Delhi once, but mm -hmm. I didn't know it was chili, so I was like eating it with a passion. Yeah, until Not it's hit you. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. This is a chili dipped in fried, well, dipped in batter and then fried. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Mm. Smile now. As you go deeper, it gets spicy. Mm. The batter is super flaky, light actually, mm -hmm. not oily, mm -hmm. which is something I like because it can be very oily. I think it's made with uh, gram flour. Gram flour, yes. Right? Yeah. Mm. So it's not spicy yet, but this section, we're getting yeah, yeah, we're getting the there. Mm -hmm. mm. Very addictive, this. Mm -hmm. Okay, that chili bhaji is a little bit spicy, but not too spicy, which is yes. good. And we are going in for the dosa. dosa. Yes. We were actually supposed to film a different video, but then that failed. <laughs> yeah, but we still got dosa at the end of the day. Yes, so and it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That chutney is great, right? perfect, on point. Mm -hmm. The mustard seeds, it's amazing. And it's blended so well. Mm -hmm. The dosa looks a little bit more than a, uh, like a pancake. Yeah. So sometimes it's a crepe where it's mm. like super thin and thin, crispy. Yeah. This is more like a pancake, so it's a little bit thicker. Thicker, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that is so yummy. Mm -hmm. Wanna go in for the rice dishes? Yes. I'm so hungry. <laughs> so, mm. you can take your pick. Do you wanna go for lime rice first? Yeah, or that looks amazing. Lime rice? Let's yeah, yeah. That, that looks really yummy. I haven't had lime rice in forever. Uh -huh. I think the last time I had it was in mm, Rishikesh. Wow, like two years ago. Wow, okay. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. This is a proper Karnataka style. Yeah. Known as Chitrana. Chitrana. Yes. Okay. I see mustard seeds, so mm -hmm. yeah, that looks good. I'm just going to try it with the uh, veggies. Yeah. Which also have coconut and a little bit uh, jeera, mm -hmm. I think. Oh, those veggies. Do we know? That tastes like barbecued veggies. That yeah. is phenomenal. Those veggies, oh my god. Whoa. It has a very char grilled flavor. It's super, super smoky. Nice. Yeah. How do they do that? I don't see anything that's grilled or no. anything. That's just a tempering, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Whoa. Oh, that's this good. It tastes so good, yeah. Damn, that's good. Mm -hmm. I need to try that lime rice on its own. It goes well with the lime rice as well. It's perfect. Perfect, yeah. So the lemon rice, lime rice, mm -hmm. it also has tempering, but it's quite mild. So it has like a little, little, like sourness to it, but it pairs so well with those veggies. veggies That's insane. Yeah. Like I just want to have that right now because yeah, no. it's mm -hmm. so good. Good, yeah. Whoa. Mm. I never knew Karnataka food was this mm, that's good. This yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's amazing. Okay, wanna go in for the for the chana? Or what is it called? Kal? Kadla. Kadla. Mm, okay. Kadla, Kadli. Kadli, okay. Oh, I see a massive chili here with me. Oh, yeah. And there's also coconut in there. Coconut, yes. I don't see mustard seeds in this one. No. I'm just gonna try it on its own. Mm hmm. Mm. And this would pair well as well. So it's actually black chickpeas. Yeah. And there's some crunchy stuff in there too. Oh, yeah. It's the mm. gram that's that. The, the kind of like dal, like yes. moong dal, yes. roasted. Roasted moong Oh, that's dal. amazing. Like it adds definitely yeah. depth to the texture yeah, of yeah. the dish. Very, yeah, the crunchiness, mm. flavor also. It's quite mild. I thought it, it there mild. would be like a big kick to it. Mm -hmm. But it's more of a mild chickpea dish. Yeah. Like when you compare it to the veggies, that's veggies, like... Veggies, that was very overpowering. Mm -hmm. Oh, how is it with the lemon rice? It's nice. It's good? Mm -hmm. Fresh well? I'm pairing whatever mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. try with this and then it's going to follow the suit. So even the mung dal, but this one I think has a little bit of, of mustard seeds and also again the roasted chana dal. 
Yes. For the crunch. Ooh. Mm. So it all tastes a little bit like it's barbecued. Barbecued, yeah. This is a, yeah, a little more smoky. That is amazing. Love that. Mm -hmm. Really love that. Because like with vegetarian food, it's so hard to get like the smoky, smoky flavor, flavor and everything. Yeah. Actually, like the two uh, pulse dishes, mm -hmm. so the, the chickpea one and the mung dao one, they're quite mild, yeah. but still like the smoky flavor is there. It works. Kind of adds balance to the whole thali, I feel. 100%, yeah. I agree. So yeah. that works. Karnataka, I'm so happy to be living mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next thing, uh, wanna try the poglior? Oh, uh, what is that? Poliogre. So it's not called toran, it's different. Not called this is kosambari, if I'm not mistaken. Kosambari? Yeah, might have got the name wrong. Okay. But yeah, this is also a staple dish from Karnataka. We may not recognize the names, but we love your food, food. Karnataka. Yeah. Please don't get mad at us. <laughs> uh, not cabbage, sorry, cucumber. Oh, it's cucumber. Okay. Oh, but then this is coconut. Coconut, ah. cucumber, and uh, the pulse. Okay. Mmm, damn. Yeah. Not cabbage, sorry. That's like the completely other end. Mm hmm. Because it's so fresh. Fresh and there's coriander on the bottom. Mm. Whoa, this is super fresh. It's like a cucumber coconut salad. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. You will love this. And it's got some chili, so it mm. tends to get spicy as you dig in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm too curious about this because I always see it on the menu, but I never order it. Order it, yeah. So, Puglia? Puliogre. Puliogre. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a rice dish. I see a with little tamarind. With tamarind. Yeah. Okay. And there's a chili here, and I see a little and peanut. The peanut as well. Yeah. Puliogre in translation means tamarind rice. Tamarind rice. Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm, yeah. That's tamarind rice. There you go. I prefer the lemon rice, I have mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's a little bit like um like the rasam is already mixed in the, yes. into it. Rasam is kind of like a tomato. Broth. Broth. Yeah. A shaba again. Mm. Best to cure a cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have some rasam here. Mm -hmm. What if I add it to that? Mm. Mm. Do you, did you add did, the rasam? I did. I did. Ho, ho. That's good. It becomes more tomatoey, a little bit yeah. more sour. Sour, yeah. It just completes the whole flavor. Think, That's right. good. That combination is amazing. Yeah. Last thing on our plate that we haven't tried yet is what is this? Um, this is a sambar. Okay. Uh, not a sambar. It's a dal. Sorry. It's a dal. Yes. Okay. So it's a green dal. I've never had a green dal. So Should we try for dal, just uh, a plain so we'll, rice? We can have a plain rice, but actually there's a some there is spinach. That's how you get the color. Uh huh. Okay. And there's spinach added in this. Mmm. Mmm. Spinach and dal. Oh my god, this is so good. So it's again quite mild, I have to yeah. say. It's not super spicy it's or anything. Spicy. It no. might get spicy later. Mm. We have some pickle here. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me add a little bit of pickle. And oh. you might get a hint of ghee also in the... Yeah, that? you're right. right. I was wondering what like, what is that like? You're keeping it a little dense, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The pickle box. Pair it with a pickle. Oh. Yeah. What I love about this food, honestly everything tastes healthy. Mm -hmm. Like super tasty but also healthy. It's nothing as heavy or like flavors that like take you down. Down, yeah. Like the, the smoky flavor is there, it's it's in your face. Yeah, but, but you like it. That's yeah. Good. It's, it's just refreshing. Every, and everything pairs so well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. I'm honestly blown away. <laughs> no, I never knew Karnataka food was this good. Mm -hmm. I've been in Bangalore for a, a year and a half, so shame on me, 100%. I don't think you need to feel so bad because even I recently came to know that this uh, non veg food mm, from Karnataka yeah. is also fairly yeah, nice. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm vegetarian, so. No, no, but even from yeah. a non veg point of view, I never knew Karnataka had so many options. Mm hmm. And well, they're also very flavorful. Yeah. Something worth trying out as well. But they're amazing. Like, seriously yeah. amazing. North Indian dishes, tasty, but can be super heavy. Yes. Um, even the vegetarian dishes can be extremely heavy. But 
this is so light, and I really, really like that mm -hmm. about this food. Mm. You, you were just saying everything is so light, so light. Yeah. but at the end of the day, so full. So full. So, full. <laughs> so satisfyingly mm. full. Mm. Definitely. And now we have still two desserts to go. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to go for... Which one do you want to start out with? This so one? Let, yeah, we can go what with is that? Uh, the karzigi. How? Karzigi. Karzigi, okay. Yeah. And it's filled with? It's filled with coconut and jaggery. Coconut and jaggery, my favorite. So jaggery is a natural sugar in India, in case you're a foreigner and you don't know. And it's very smoky. It's kind of like palm sugar. Yeah. But I think like jaggery is a little bit lighter. Lighter, yes. Yeah, palm sugar is more smoky. Mm -hmm. And jaggery is, it has that smoky flavor. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's so good. I love jaggery. Yeah, it goes it's really, well really with really coconut. Yummy. Yeah. yeah. So that's actually more crumbly than I expected. Mm -hmm. The the filling. Yeah. I thought it would be more creamy pasty. Yeah. Is there some peanut in there as well? Or am I just tripping yeah. out? It's the jaggery. Mm. Mm. It's really yummy. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah. It's really crumbly. crumbly <laughs> yeah. Other one is Obatu. Obatu. Mm -hmm. And what is that? It's looks sweet, like a parata. It's a sweet chapati. Actually. Sweet chapati. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually, it has a lot of ghee as well. Okay. But again, really sweet and tasty. So. And what is that filled with? Again, jaggery? And yes, jaggery. Oh, jaggery. Jaggery is so yeah. tasty. Mm. There's a lychee in there. Mm-hmm. You have my heart. When you put a lychee in anything, okay. you have my heart. Heart, yeah. Oh my God. Mm. And this filling actually is more creamy. Creamy, yeah. It's not that dry. Wow, okay. I just want to dip my face in. <laughs> it's so good. There's, there's like a proper, proper lychee cardamom in there. Yes. Whoa, that's good. Wow. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the wind. Wow. I need this on Swiggy mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can order it. Yeah. Wow. So usually they have an accompaniment with it. Mm hmm. Which is again uh, like a dense sweet that goes, or you can have it with the liquid. So, you say over two in kheer. So, I am not a huge fan of kheer. Oh, that kheer we had at MTR was MTR, good. MTR, yeah. So, usually that's also a combination. Oh. So they have something else. That is so, so, it's like a really dense sweet. Again, okay. from Karnataka that they get. Okay. It's actually part of uh, the, no, the thali over here. Mm. Another thali. So, that was also super tasty. I have to say, I like the creamy filling better than mm -hmm. the dry one. Yeah. Because the dry one, like, it chokes me up a little bit. Yeah. This one, like, goes down really smooth. <laughs> yeah, and the flavors are nice. Yeah, the flavors nice. are perfect. Mm -hmm. It's so yummy. This. Mm -mm -mm. Even when you're full, it doesn't feel heavy. Mm -hmm. But then, um, I think when we finish, mm -hmm. we're going to be like, ugh. <laughs> when we get up, we'll know. Yeah. Did this meet your expectations about the Karnataka Thali or Karnataka food? Meat exceed... Blow my, my mind. mind. I genuinely am not saying this to suck up to, you know, Canadigans. Uh, Canadigans. How? Canadigans. Canadigans. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I know two Canada words for now. Illa and how do. How do. Yeah. And fun fact. So now I'll teach you two more words. Okay. Tumba. Tumba. Oh, that's easy. Chanagide. Chanadege. Chanagide. Chanagide. Which means very nice. Very nice. Oh, Chanagide. Tumba. tumba. And what does tumba mean? Very. Very. So tumba, chanadike. Chanagi. Chanag. Tumba. Tumba. Yeah, that's easy. Chanagide. 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 Yes, which means very good. So that's your impression about the food or One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Tumba chanagide. Yeah. Thank you for letting me live in Bangalore and being mm -hmm. able to eat this food every single day because it's... An absolute treat. And my friend Sheikh Zilla, thank you so much for being You're the absolute welcome. best food brother in the world. <laughs> and so knowledgeable, guys. You need to check out his Instagram account, Sheikh Zilla. Obviously, I've linked it down in the description below. He has a lot more pictures from this restaurant on his yeah. account as well. And he writes really well about food. He will definitely make you drool thank just you. with words. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, also make sure to put a thumbs up. And to subscribe to my channel, click the little bell icon to get the notifications whenever I post a new video because there are going to be definitely more food videos. Yes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Actually, we should just do this. Yeah.
ni ba? Juga. <laughs> You're learning well. <laughs> wow. Using my left hand, which I'm not supposed to use. Uh -huh. That's like I think my second best watched What? video. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying a friend of my, uh, letting a friend of mine eat with her hands and like mm. teaching her how to eat you with her hands. hands. Yeah, and everyone's was explaining that you're only supposed to eat with like your right hand. Right hand, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. For obvious reasons. Mm. Yeah. This is beyond good. Mm -hmm. oh. And recording? Yes.